Hi, so welcome to this uh, Kaden Dash Tech continuation video of the installation of Free Radius. Because um, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, go through the whole process and build um, and build the complete systems that we've been discussing for quite a while now. Um, I thought we'd best go through it and and show the best configurations. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to install initially. A basic free radius and we'll just do a quick test on it okay to make sure it works so this will be a quick video i'm going to install my sql as well uh purely ready for the next video it's it, it, it's very basic to do anyway i'm already logged in as sudo um as i said in a previous video um you probably shouldn't do this uh it's a security risk and um not only is it a security risk Obviously, a sudo, you can do anything you want, and you may make an error. Uh, but I'm just doing this to save time. So naturally, before each command on a Ubuntu box, you're going to want to put sudo command. Okay, but because I'm already in a sudo, I don't need to. So I'm just going to do an apt minus y install my SQL dash server. Simple as that. There we go let's just install that system um as i've said this is just going to be a very basic free radius installation okay um i just want to show you it working um initially before we go into utilizing a database and i'll explain to you why we don't want to use it this way which i have seen many organizations do and you'll understand why you shouldn't do it this way. Okay, so let's clear the screen. So we can do a system CTL status MySQL. Let's just see if that's running anyway, and it is. So we'll control C out of that. Um, now what we can do is we can do an apt minus Y install free radius. So we're gonna install free radius now. Okay, so we're just going to do a very, very basic installation here. Um, let's just clear the screen again. So we just type clear. And that clears the screen for us. So we'll move forward into the etc. Uh, free radius directory. And it comes under 3.0. Okay, and if we ls that, um, we see certain different files here. So if we were to have a look at the clients, now the clients are going to be your NAS devices. All right, so we'll have a look at clients.conf. And if we have a look in here, what, what we'll see is we've got a lot a lot of explanation in there about what this file actually does, okay? Um, when we come to do the whole thing, we're going to get rid of a lot of that because I'll explain it to you. So we've got the local host and anything you want to put in here has to come between these uh, parentheses, okay? So we've got a basic one here of an IP address which is local host, because that's what we're going to test on initially. Protocol can be anything. Um, the secret is testing 123. We probably want to remember that. Require message authenticator and NAS type equals other. Okay, and, and, and that is basically all we need in there. We, we don't need to do any changes. Okay, so we can uh, quit out of that. What we do need to do is we need to have a look at the um, users. All right, so we're going to vi users okay and we're going to come down this file and we'll notice that there's going to be a user called bob okay and we're going to utilize that user for the test to prove that it's working okay so we're going to go to bob we'll escape i we'll delete that we'll delete that and we'll delete that okay that's all we have to do but remember the password hello and what's going to be returned is this plus the username which is this sorry the username which is this so it will be replied hello bob if it's successful okay that's all we have to do here now the problem with this is is as you can see is the actual password is in plain text so anybody that's got access to this system can have a look at the passwords and i have seen this in many companies and this is not good that's why we should always use a database that can be um, encrypted, the passwords. Okay, but we're just going to do this test first um, so that we can get free radius running. Okay, so let's do an escape colon WQ because we're going to save it. Okay, and we need to restart free radius. So we just do a restart 
free radius. Okay, there we go. That should now be running. Let's just test it. Status, free radius, make sure it's running, and it is. Okay, so we'll just come out of that. So we can use something called rad test. So we're going to do rad test. Okay, we know it's Bob. We know his password is hello. We're going to call it localhost because that's what we're doing. Okay, um, the port is going to be 1812 because it's UDP 1812 is the um, authorization port. Okay, that you're going to get the um, request coming in on. Okay, and we know the password is testing one, two, three for the NAS secret. So we do that and we know it works because we get back. Well, it was sent, look, from the local host. Okay, here, look. Uh, username's Bob, password's hello. The NAS IP address is the local host. The NAS port is 1812. The clear text password is hello, as you can see there. And there's your reply, look, as we said, hello, Bob. Okay, so we know that this is working. However, we do not want it working in this status uh, purely because we want to use a back end database. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to move on to utilizing the MySQL back end database for this. Okay, so as I said, very quick lesson, and we'll get the next one up ASAP for you. Okay, thank you.